Disney CEO Bob Iger finally gave an update on Disney prices and there's good news and then there's bad news. First, the bad news. Iger stated that former Disney CEO Bob Chapek took a growth at all costs approach when trying to grow Disney's streaming service, Disney Plus. With high production costs for new content and low monthly subscriber fees, Disney streaming has been heavily cutting into the Disney company's overall profits. To circumvent this, Iger has hinted at cutting down on projects, production budgets, and raising monthly subscriber fees, which Disney already did back in December 2022. And while not explicitly saying it, Iger heavily hinted that certain promotional offers for the Disney Plus streaming service could also be a thing of the past by saying, quote, While I'm pro-consumer generally, I think we have to take a look at how easy it is for the consumer not to just sign on, but sign on sometimes under promotional circumstances where it's not only less expensive, in some cases it's free, end quote. Now for the good news, at least for Disney theme park fans. Iger has routinely said and reinforced recently that he believes the theme parks are just too expensive and are no longer accessible for a large group of people. Iger said recently, quote, I've always believed that Disney was a brand that needed to be accessible and I think that in our zeal to grow profits, we may have been a little bit too aggressive about some of our pricing. I think there's a way to continue to grow that business but be smarter about it, how we price, so that we maintain that brand value of accessibility. And we took certain steps when I came back to do just that, and they've resonated extremely well with consumers. And we're not only going to continue to listen to consumers, but we're going to continue to adjust, end quote. The steps that Iger is referring to is the increase in lower tier price admission days. Disney theme parks currently work on a dynamic pricing system where certain days are more expensive than others. The current cheapest tier price is $104 for a one-day non-park hopping ticket. Iger increased the number of $104 days when he returned back to the company in November 2022. But are these changes enough to not only grow the Disney company's business, but also maintain and bring back customer loyalty? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments, and as always, for more Disney news and updates, make sure to follow along.